Welcome back to Shavers Insider, your entertainment news roundup. So our regional fashion designers are increasingly in demand with international celebrities and stylists. Managing to fuse both contemporary with traditional looks, we meet the designers and take a look at their collections for the new season, the guys who are making quite a mark on the global fashion scene. Jean-Louis Sabaji's latest collection inspired by birds literally took to the skies with artistry and drama. The elegance and fluidity of flight and feathers was captured with raw and ripped silk organza, contrasting with a unique silicon technique to replicate birds' claws. Fashion design is literally in his blood, with Jean-Louis continuing in his family's creative vision. Jean-Louis, exquisite works of art, Turtle Birds of Paradise, is that what you were going for? Exactly. My main inspiration was birds, feathers and wings for this collection. So the whole collection is, in is inspired from the feathering. As you can see, I didn't use any, any real feather in the collection. So all, everything I did was like an imitation of real feathers. I tried through the material work to give like the softness and the flowiness of, of the feathers. And uh, at the same time, I, uh, I, went, I, I went under the feathers to show how birds' flesh look like without, without the feathering. So that's why I use my silicone technique to show, to show, to show the flesh of a bird. Right, because that to me felt quite like futuristic. Yeah. So I wanted to do something different, like not the typical feathers, birds, you know. So what I, and even this silicon technique I use is to also to imitate the claws of the birds. And it really continues on from your last collection, which was real, you know, Garden of Eden. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I, I try to keep my, my, my touch in, the, in every, every time. So every time I try to keep the Jean-Louis Savage signatures. <laughs> Next up, it's House of Ronald and possibly the nicest guy to be joining the ranks of the rebellious fashion pack. His latest collection called Elementals is really about his take on female empowerment. Set to the track Staying Alive, he told us about his path into fashion and sexy 70s inspiration. So Ronald, you've actually been described as being one of the new fashion rebels, kind of like Alexander McQueen, Jean-Paul Gaultier. How does that sit with you? <laughs> I mean, they say. I mean, that's what I've heard. But I don't. I don't think I'm anywhere near as talented as they are. I and mean, they've built a career out of amazing clothing. I'm still in the beginning, so hopefully, one day I will. I will think I'm part of that team. Okay. Now let's talk about your journey, your personal journey into fashion, because we haven't had you on the show before. No, exactly. Tell me, where does it all start? Where does it all start? Okay. Um, well, in 1990, I've always been in. Ever since I was born, I was born with a pen. I never used to draw fashion though, it was never about dresses, it was more about mangas, cartoons, things I used to watch as a child, just copying things and, and then little by little, I think towards the 90s, I started, I think it was during the whole George Michael, Freedom, Groovers in the Heart era that I started going more into like doing dresses and then little by little I just kept drawing that and then it turned out to be me in math class, not doing my math but drawing dresses and so I knew, everyone knew it was the thing I wanted to do. Let's talk about the collection. So, I mean, I kind of got that it was a bit of a disco '70s kind of feel to it. I mean, there was, there wasn't really a disco element to it. Disco element to it. It was very '70s. Um, we were inspired by the '70s, but I didn't want a retro look. I wanted to modernize the retro look and make it look more now. Um, that's where all the leather came in, all the harnesses came in. Um, we had the pleated skirts that were stitched, top stitched. Uh, a lot of cutouts. A lot of cutouts. A lot of cutouts. I don't usually do sexy. But this is oh, I think you did it very well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I can do sexy, but I don't usually do it because I don't. There's a fine line between sexy and vulgar, and I always try to not go there. But this time, I made a a very conscious choice of doing it and showing how sexy can not be vulgar, how you can be sexy and not wear a back. Uh, you can wear a backless dress and slits up to your uh, waist and not look. Well, there, there, so there is a way of doing it. It's also a way of teaching women how they can present themselves sometimes. I mean, House of Ronald is, is the brand is about women empowerment. Tahir Sultan has also worked with Alexander McQueen and continues to break the mold. His passion for fashion is driven by a zest for life, with this collection in partnership with W Maldives. From playful prints to an uber fun take on the life jacket, this guy is fashion's new rock star and makes you want to have fashionable fun. 
Uh, so to hear there were so many different looks going on in the collection, was there a central theme at all? I think the central theme uh, was the ocean this season. It was the ocean and it was form and it was function. Um, for this collection, we teamed up with the W and the Maldives because I'm designing their uniforms. So what I wanted to do was, I wanted to actually break the mold and I said, you know what, let's inject it and, th and show them as part of a formal collection down the ramp, which hasn't been done before, and then use that to springboard creative ideas. Because then what happens is, you know, you start to look at the product in a very, very different manner. And it, in terms of your, your designs or in terms of the hotels? In terms of, it, it's very challenging because you're taking the corporate world, you're taking the design world, and then you're taking, because, I mean, as a designer from this region, I, they're always all eyes sort of on me. So I, uh, you know, I have to try to find that balance. And so when I said I do that, I was like, oh God, what have I done? I don't know if I can, like, how am I going to do this? And then, then actually, you know, when we start to pull it together and I use the same prints in my collection, so the men's wear and the women's wear and the dresses, it came together fantastically, you know, because the prints were really nice. I really enjoyed um, working with my prints person to come up with them. Uh, then there were the embroideries that would look like the corals and the reefs, and it was, it was, it was. It was the season of the jacket, the, the beautiful beaded white jacket. Yes, yes. It, you know, I, I just, I think mean, there's something about the coral and the formation of the corals and the pearls, and, and there's something about it being calm, you know. I, I, I like the calmness. Of it. Like you have the splash of color, but then there's the calm. So now I feel like this collection was so different to your last one. I mean, how do you see yourself evolving? Well, the thing is that if you see the look at the shapes of the forms, there is sort of the same kind of structure in it. Um, the last one was very gray, and I, probably next season will also go back to being more muted because it's going to be winter again. You know, so the, the, there's a winter summer thing, and and um, I mean. What somebody told me backstage is every single piece had you in it. And I think that, you know, as long as you evolve and every single piece has an injection of you in the collection, then you're gold. I think when you start to like, when you start to um, veer off, then. And from the fashion kings of Lebanon and Kuwait to Persian princesses, for morale, it's all about love, creativity, and living out a childhood dream. Created in India, launched in Paris, and now showcasing in Dubai, morale is about finding the balance between the traditional classics and modern contemporary looks. So Morano, it's been said that love defines your work and of course your life. How can you explain that, describe that through your pieces? For me, each and every piece that you see is made by love. Like from the day one that I think that I want to make something about the imagination that I have about the piece to go to the market pick up the right fabric come back sit my entire team sit actually with each and every worker of mine to explain it to them then make it for me it's not about only my love I need whoever works for me also work with love then we make everything with love we make a beautiful piece we laugh over it we do everything is absolutely happy moment we make each and every piece and that's it just some of our regional fashion stars, also different, hey, taking us into the 2015 spring-summer season. Stay with us, some of the musical moments of the year.